If you have a quiz question or answer where you want students to view a YouTube video but never leave the quiz, you want to follow this tutorial which will show you how to create a text link and then when the student clicks on that text link, the YouTube video will open up in what's called an overlay. Now an overlay is something that isn't pop blocked by pop-up blockers, which is why it's very useful. And then also, in this particular case, you don't want the students just going off to YouTube and doing other things. So this is a good way to have a video and then be able to ask questions. Now it's very important you follow this tutorial carefully and do not miss a step. You should also note that this tutorial assumes you feel comfortable working within the source code of the HTML editor. If you don't, please contact my courses for faculty at spcollege.edu and we'll be glad to help. So there's a couple things you want to do before this begins. The first one is you want to go to YouTube and do your search and have your be on the page where your YouTube video is that you want to add. So you want to have that ready in another tab and I want to keep go over to my quiz questions and then there's a couple HTML code that you're going to use and we'll get to that in a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and create my quiz question. I'll just choose true and false. And I'm going to click on the HTML source icon. And I'm going to copy some HTML code that begins with iframe onto my clipboard and ends with iframe. I'm going to go into the HTML source editor and I'm going to go ahead and paste that into the HTML source editor. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to go ahead and type whatever text I want. For my question. And I'm going to highlight the text that I want to use as my link. I'm going to go ahead and click on the insert quick link. And I'm going to scroll down to URL. And I'm going to click on URL. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the YouTube video I want to use. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click on Share. And then I'm going to click on Embed. Now what's really important here is that I don't want to highlight and copy the entire thing that says iframe. Where it starts HTTPS and until it goes to the ending quote and not copy that quote, I want to copy that code to my HTML, to my clipboard. I'm going to go back into my question. And I'm going to highlight the URL text there. And I am going to paste in that URL. Now, I can type in any other text I want at this point. Or if I already highlighted my text, it should be there. And I'm going to click Insert. Now I want to go ahead and copy this target equal overlay onto my clipboard. I'm going to click on the HTML source uh, icon again and I'm going to find where it says target equals self and I'm going to highlight that whole thing. And then I'm going to paste in what I put on my clipboard which was target equal overlay. Then I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now I can click on Preview if you want. I'm going to click on Preview. So now when a student clicks on that link, up brings the YouTube video. They can click Play. And the YouTube video will play. When the student's done, they can close that and they're back in the question and they never leave the quiz. So when I'm done with that, I'll click on Done. And now I know it all works, and I click Save. And now I have my question, which brings up a YouTube video, and the students never leave the quiz area at all.